The concept of fidelity as we often understand it can be entirely different from some cultures around the world. Can you believe there are places where husbands willingly offer their wives to guests as a gesture of hospitality? It sounds strange but this is part of the culture of the Inuit people in Alaska. This video will take you on a deeper exploration of the unique culture of the Inuit and the land they live in, one of the harshest, iciest yet most beautiful and mysterious places on the planet. This is Alaska, a state in the USA, the largest state in the country, with an area of over 1.7 million square kilometers. However, it has the smallest population due to its harsh climate making it one of the coldest places on Earth. Despite this, Alaska is a mesmerizing destination for tourists. With its spectacular natural beauty, unique wildlife, and rich indigenous culture with rare traditions, let's uncover the mysteries and wonders hidden within the Inuit culture and the majestic land of Alaska in this video. Number 15. The Inuit Wife Swapping Custom the Inuit, also known as Eskimos or Yupik, are indigenous people living in the Arctic regions, spanning from Russia through Alaska in the USA, Canada, to Greenland. They are famous for their extraordinary adaptability to the harsh environment where ice and snow cover the land year-round. The Inuit tribes still maintain the custom of letting their wives sleep with strangers as a way of showing hospitality. Historically, the Inuit practiced short-term wife rentals, Therefore, wife swapping is just an extension of the wife rental tradition, and for them, it is as normal as any other daily routine. The specific practice of wife rental involves a man being allowed to rent another man's wife during hunting trips based on a prior agreement. During the rental period, the woman must fulfill all the needs of the man who rented her. This custom signifies that a man wants to share the most wonderful gift he has been given, his woman, with a guest. If the guest refuses, the man sees it as a disrespectful act towards the woman and his family. Many researchers believe that the reason for wife swapping stems from the hope of producing many healthy children. In these areas, due to close kinship relationships, many children are often born weak and die young. Additionally, the harsh weather conditions, with temperatures sometimes dropping to minus 30 to minus 40 degrees coupled with poor nutrition, make raising a child difficult. Therefore, the birth of many children becomes a shared joy for the entire community. However, this does not imply that women are a weak class in society and used as commodities. On the contrary, Inuit women have rights and voices, just like the men in their families. The Inuit have lived for centuries in very tough conditions, fighting to survive every day. This has influenced their attitude towards women. Women often have to take care of children and participate in hunting activities. What do you think about the Inuit wife swapping custom? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Number 14. The most generous custom in the world. Besides the Inuit, the Tlingit are a native tribe in Alaska, currently numbering about 177,000 people, who still preserve their land and ancient traditions. The Tlingit follow a matrilineal system where children are born into their mother's clan and property and inheritance are passed down through the maternal line. What makes the Tlingit tribe different from other indigenous peoples in the region is that they have no linguistic relation to any other language, except for vague similarity with the language of the Athabascan people, with whom the Tlingit have traded for centuries. Here, the wealthy still practice polygamy. Additionally, the Tlingit highly value family and kinship, they admire wealth, power and high status within the community. However, generosity and proper behavior are always held in higher regard. The special thing about these tribes is their custom of expressing gratitude in a remarkable and almost unimaginable way in today's age, something that can teach us a lot about generosity. This is the practice of giving away everything until you have nearly nothing left. The grand ceremonies known as potlatches have been a part of their lives for thousands of years and are celebrated with lavish feasts, songs, and gift-giving traditions. In this ancient culture, the host often holds a feast for hundreds of guests and gives away a large amount of money and gifts, such as blankets, canoes and sewing machines, that they have accumulated throughout the year. Some estimate that the total value of gifts and money exchanged among tribe members amounts to up to $2 million annually. Number 13. The Iditarod Trail Sled Dog Race the Iditarod Sled Dog Race in Alaska, known simply as the Iditarod, is one of the world's most famous and grueling winter sports events. This race attracts daring racers and powerful dogs from all over the globe, together conquering the challenging journey through Alaska's wilderness. 
The Iditarod originated from a mail delivery race in the early 20th century, when sleds pulled by dogs were the main means of winter transportation in Alaska. Over the decades the race has evolved into an international sporting event, attracting thousands of participants and spectators. The Iditarod spans over 1,800 kilometers starting in Anchorage and ending in Nome. Racers traverse diverse terrains including glaciers, mountains, forests, and snow-covered plains. They must be self-sufficient, providing food and shelter for themselves and their dogs throughout the journey while facing harsh weather conditions such as heavy snowfall, storms, and temperatures dropping to minus 50 degrees Celsius. The dogs play a crucial role in the Iditarod. They are carefully selected for their strength, endurance, and teamwork. Each team typically consists of 12 to 16 dogs trained to work harmoniously and efficiently to pull the sled. The Iditarod is not just a sports race but also a symbol of courage, determination, and the bond between humans and animals. The race honors Alaska's cultural heritage and the tradition of using sled dogs for transportation. Participating in the Iditarod is an honor and a challenge requiring meticulous preparation, physical stamina, and mental toughness from both the racers and their dogs. What do you think about this race? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Number 12. Many Mysterious Creatures Alaska, with its wild and majestic nature, always harbors mysteries that humans have yet to fully explore. Besides the familiar wildlife, there are many stories about mysterious creatures that stimulate human curiosity, the image of Sasquatch, also known as Bigfoot or Yeti, appears frequently in the legends of Alaska's indigenous people and surrounding areas. Witnesses describe Sasquatch as a giant creature, towering in height, covered in thick hair, moving on two legs and leaving enormous footprints. However, to date, there is no scientific evidence confirming the existence of Sasquatch. Many believe Sasquatch is a product of imagination, but the stories about it continue to be passed down and attract the attention of explorers. Additionally, Lake Iliamna, located in southwestern Alaska, is famous for stories about a giant creature lurking at its bottom. Local residents recount seeing a massive monster with a long, bulky body moving at high speed. Various theories have been proposed about the nature of the Lake Iliamna monster, from a prehistoric giant reptile to an extraterrestrial being. Like Sasquatch, the existence of the Lake Iliamna monster remains unproven, but the stories about it remain a lively topic among tourists and locals. The existence of these mysterious creatures has yet to be scientifically proven. However, stories about them continue to intrigue and spark the human imagination. Do you believe in the reality of these creatures? Share your thoughts below. Number 11. The Frozen Beard Festival. In Alaska, the Frozen Beard Festival is a unique annual event held in the town of Tolna. This festival attracts men from all over the world to showcase their thick and lush beards in a fun and humorous competition. The Frozen Beard Festival was first held in 1988, stemming from a humorous idea by a local resident. It quickly became an event that draws tourists and locals bringing joy and laughter to everyone during Alaska's cold winter days. The main highlight of the festival is the beard competition, where contestants compete in categories such as the longest beard, the thickest beard, and the most creatively styled beard. The judges evaluate the beards based on length, thickness, creativity, and how well they match the festival's theme. Besides the beard competition, the festival features various entertaining activities, such as beard burning contests, beard plucking contests, beard parades, and traditional Alaskan folk games. Visitors can also enjoy local traditional foods, shop for souvenirs, and immerse themselves in the festive and lively atmosphere. Participating in the Frozen Beard Festival in Alaska is an unforgettable experience for anyone who loves uniqueness and seeks new things during the winter. This event exemplifies the humor and resilience of Alaskans in the face of the state's harsh weather conditions. Number 10. Alaska was formerly Russian. Alaska has experienced a tumultuous history, transitioning from Russian territory to becoming part of the United States. In 1741, Vitus Bering, a Danish explorer under Russian sponsorship, set foot in Alaska. Since then, Russia began claiming sovereignty over this land. The Russians focused on exploiting natural resources, especially valuable furs such as beaver and sea otter pelts. They also established trade stations and settlements along the coast. Managing and exploiting Alaska proved challenging due to its harsh terrain and high transportation costs. By the mid-19th century, Profits from the fur trade had declined, leading Russia to lose interest in Alaska. 
On March 30, 1867, the United States purchased Alaska from Russia for $7.2 million, equivalent to $125 million today. However, the Alaska Purchase did not resolve all territorial disputes between Russia and the United States. Some coastal areas remain contentious to this day. Number 9. The Mystery of the Alaska Triangle and Disappearances The Alaska Triangle, also known as the Bermuda Triangle of Alaska, is a vast area in southern Alaska, encompassing the Kenai Peninsula, Kodiak Island, and the southern part of the Alaska Range. It is infamous for the mysterious disappearances of planes and ships, making it one of the world's most enigmatic locations. Records of mysterious disappearances in the Alaska Triangle date back to the early 20th century. The most famous incident occurred in 1947 when a military plane carrying 11 people, including crew and passengers, vanished without a trace while flying over the area. Since then, hundreds of other disappearances have been recorded, including commercial planes, military aircraft, ships, and even people. Numerous search efforts have been conducted, but most have yielded no results, deepening the mystery of the Alaska Triangle. There are many theories put forward to explain the mysterious disappearances in the Alaska Triangle. Some popular theories include pilot error, with some believing the accidents were caused by control errors or severe weather conditions. Others suggest that extreme weather events such as thick fog or strong winds might be to blame. There are also more bizarre theories proposing that the disappearances are due to alien activity or mysterious time-space portals. Despite the many theories the true cause behind the mysterious disappearances in the Alaska Triangle remains unsolved. Scientists and investigators continue to study the area in search of explanations for these enigmas. Number 8. The Stunning Landscapes of Alaska Alaska is renowned for its magnificent and diverse natural scenery, making it a paradise for those who love exploring and immersing themselves in the wilderness. For example, Katmai National Park is dubbed the Brown Bear Paradise, where visitors can witness large bears gathering at the rapids to catch salmon during the summer and fall. The majestic sight of brown bears frolicking in their natural habitat is a unique and unforgettable experience. Additionally, visitors can immerse themselves in the spectacular scenery of Tracy Arm Fjord, where massive icebergs drift lazily on calm waters, creating a breathtaking and mystical natural painting. Cruises navigate through towering cliffs, offering impressive and unique perspectives. Denali National Park is home to Mount McKinley, the highest peak in North America, providing visitors with stunning and grand natural views. Moreover, visitors can engage in exciting activities such as hiking, wildlife spotting, and soaking in the pristine wilderness atmosphere. Alaska is also one of the best places in the world to witness the mesmerizing Aurora Borealis. On dark winter nights the Alaskan sky lights up with brilliant colors, creating a magical and enchanting light show. Fairbanks is an ideal spot to view the aurora due to its proximity to the Arctic Circle and favorable weather conditions. In addition to the above locations Alaska boasts numerous other pristine and majestic landscapes, such as Glacier Bay, Kenai Fjords National Park, and the Tongass Rainforest. Each place offers unique and unforgettable experiences, making Alaska an ideal destination for those who love exploring the wild and embarking on new adventures. What do you think of Alaska's landscapes? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Number 7. Mosquitoes in Alaska are terrifying. With mild temperatures, frequent rainfall and many swamps, lakes and rivers, Alaska provides an ideal environment for these troublesome insects. Some people say that after living here long enough, mosquitoes will no longer bother you, but anyone who visits is often terrified by Alaska's mosquitoes. Alaska is home to some of the world's most aggressive mosquito species, with the Alaskan mosquito known for its particularly vicious biting habits. According to statistics from the Alaska Department of Health and Social Services, the state hosts over 20 different mosquito species, with the Alaskan mosquito being the most common. Some joke that mosquitoes are the state's official bird because they are everywhere and can survive in harsh conditions. Residents often rely on insect repellent, protective clothing and screened-in spaces to avoid mosquito bites. Number 6. Temperatures as low as minus 62 degrees Fahrenheit. Alaska is famous for its nickname, the Frozen Land, due to its year-round cold climate, especially in the interior and northern regions. 
Average temperatures in Alaska range from minus 23 degrees Fahrenheit to 10 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on the area and season. Winter in Alaska lasts from December to April, during which time the state experiences its harshest cold spells. Temperatures can drop as low as minus 62 degrees Fahrenheit, and in some areas even lower. Heavy snowfall blankets the landscape, creating a stunning white scenery. However, this extreme weather also poses many dangers, requiring visitors to be well prepared when traveling to Alaska in winter. Although the short summer in Alaska lasts from May to August and brings warmer and more pleasant weather compared to winter, average temperatures range from 10 degrees Fahrenheit to 21 degrees Fahrenheit. Nighttime temperatures can drop lower, but summer is an ideal time for visitors to engage in outdoor activities such as hiking, camping, kayaking, and exploring Alaska's magnificent natural beauty. Number 5. Alaska's oldest dogs' dogs are an indispensable part of life for Alaskans, especially in remote and isolated areas. They play crucial roles as companions, transportation means, and support in various activities. Dogs were introduced to Alaska thousands of years ago by the Paleo-Siberians and Chukchi. They were used to pull sleds, transport goods, and assist in hunting. With their excellent cold endurance, strength, and unwavering loyalty, these dogs have helped humans survive and thrive in Alaska's harsh conditions. Alaska is home to many different dog breeds, each with unique characteristics and capabilities suited for various purposes. For instance, the Alaskan Malamute is a large and powerful breed used for pulling heavy sleds, while the Siberian Husky, known for its speed and endurance, is commonly used in sled dog racing. One of the most unique experiences when visiting Alaska is taking dog sledding tours. Visitors will be able to sit on a sled pulled by a pack of healthy and energetic dogs, crossing white snow roads and admiring the majestic natural scenery of Alaska. For Alaskans, dogs are not just pets, but also loyal and trustworthy companions. They play an important role in the culture and life of the people here, expressed through festivals, traditions, and folk stories. Do you like Alaskan dogs? Please leave your thoughts about this breed. Number 4. Inuit Religion The Inuit religion, practiced and passed down by the Inuit people, shares many similarities with other indigenous religions in Alaska. Traditional Inuit religious ceremonies include animism and shamanism, where shamans have the ability to heal by connecting with spirits. Today, many Inuit people follow Christianity, but Inuit religion still plays a significant role in modern life. The Inuit balance indigenous beliefs with Christianity in traditional stories, ceremonies, and taboos, often relating to the dangers of the harsh Arctic environment. Their shamans, known as Angakuk, hold spiritual significance, acting as intermediaries between the human world and the spirit world. These shamans possess special abilities inherited from their ancestors, allowing them to communicate with spirits and perform sacred rituals to heal illnesses, foresee the future, and protect the community from negative forces. They are revered for their wisdom and profound understanding of the spiritual world's mysteries. With their practices and teachings passed down through generations, this not only preserves Inuit culture, but also provides spiritual protection for their people. Additionally, Angakuk are great storytellers with a rich oral tradition, conveying myths and legends that teach important values and preserve ancestral wisdom. Number 3. Diverse Cuisine Alaskan cuisine bears the imprint of wild nature and the cultural fusion between indigenous peoples and Europeans. It offers visitors unique and unforgettable culinary experiences with dishes prepared from fresh seafood, game meats, and characteristic ingredients of the Alaska region. Alaska is dubbed the seafood paradise of the world, with abundant and diverse seafood sources. Visitors can enjoy delicious dishes made from various seafood, such as crab, shrimp, salmon, halibut, scallops, and more. The most iconic dish of Alaska is king crab, the world's largest crab species, known for its delicious flavor and high nutritional value. Wild meats are also an important part of Alaska's cuisine. Common dishes include venison, caribou, bear meat, and wild rabbit meat. These dishes are often prepared in the traditional style of Alaskan people, providing unique and unforgettable flavors for visitors. In addition to seafood and wild meats, Alaskan cuisine also utilizes many characteristic ingredients of the regions, such as blueberries, cranberries, mushrooms, and wild honey. These ingredients are used to prepare desserts, pastries, and other dishes, bringing distinctive and enticing flavors to visitors. 
Alaskan cuisine is a cultural fusion between indigenous peoples and Europeans, with traditional Alaskan dishes combined with European cooking techniques, creating unique and flavorful dishes. Visitors to Alaska can enjoy local cuisine at restaurants, eateries, or participate in culinary festivals regularly organized. These culinary experiences will help visitors understand more about the culture and people of Alaska. What do you think about Alaskan cuisine? Have you had the chance to try it yet? Feel free to share your thoughts below. Number 2. Bear hunting is a pastime in Alaska. People who have grown up in Alaska are taught how to hunt from a young age. For Alaskan women, it can be said that they are very strong and courageous, capable of surviving most adverse conditions. Many of them learn from childhood to actively engage in outdoor activities such as hunting, fishing, and hiking. Bear hunting season in Alaska typically occurs from April to May and from August to September, depending on the region and bear species. Hunting permits are issued to hunters based on estimated bear populations in the area and other management factors. According to Alaska.gov, there are about 30,000 brown bears scattered throughout the state. Grizzly bears, Kodiak bears, and Mexican brown bears are North American subspecies of brown bears. Since this animal species is not endangered, the Alaska government issues hunting permits for one or more seasons per year. In Alaska, brown bears are often hunted in the fall, but many places allow hunting in the spring as well. However, killing female bears and bear cubs is a violation of the law. If hunters are not natives, they are required to hire local guides to be allowed to hunt bears or other animals in the wilderness. Guides must be local residents. Each hunting season usually has a relatively minor impact on the overall population of these formidable creatures. In 2007 alone, about 1,900 brown bears were hunted, mainly grizzly and Kodiak bears. Native residents accounted for 700 bears, equivalent to 33% of the total number of bears killed. The rest were hunted by non-resident hunters. Guided hunting services in Alaska are very popular, with prices for hunting services varying. Before choosing a guide, the website HuntAlaska.com quotes $1,100 for guiding a hunter. However, Alaska also has very strict regulations for hunting, despite being a necessary measure to ensure ecological balance in the area. Hunting permits are issued for free but hunters need to purchase tags to mark their game, these tags must accompany the animal until it is processed into products. They also have to carry skulls, hides or other parts of the animal for officials to check the size and gender of the animals. Hunters must complete this step before being allowed to transport the game out of Alaska. Number 1. Stubbs the Cat as Mayor in Alaska Stubbs the Cat was elected as the unofficial mayor of the town of Talkeetna in the state of Alaska in 1997, because there were no human candidates running for office. Since then, Stubbs the Cat, nicknamed Mayor Stubbs, has become a famous figure known to many. Although Stubbs the Cat does not possess the eloquence of a typical politician, over 20 years, it has still been trusted and re-elected by the people of Talkeetna as their leader. Therefore, the town of Talkeetna has remained without an official mayor to this day. The office of Mayor Stubbs is located at Nagley's store, which has become a destination for locals and tourists to visit regularly. Over 75% of visitors here often ask, where is the mayor? I want to meet the mayor. According to CNN, Mayor Stubbs the cat narrowly escaped an assassination attempt by a dog in 2013. However, in 2017, the mayor cat passed away.